Hi everyone, I'm Sandra and today on Mad Mugger we are covering the third part of the Inequalities Crash Course. In the previous videos, I covered basic properties of inequalities, inequalities involving polynomials, and inequalities involving modulus functions. In today's video, I'm covering the deduced questions. Suppose in the first part of the question, you solve the inequality x squared minus 2x minus 8 greater than 0, the solution of which is x greater than 4 or x smaller than negative 2. Then, the next part of the question requires you to hence deduce the solution of another inequality. What you're supposed to do is to figure out how each of these is related to this and deduce the solution from here. Let's zoom in on example A. How are these two expressions related? To get from here to here, all you do is replace x with ln x. From x squared minus 2x minus 8 greater than 0, replacing x with ln x, ln x squared minus 2 ln x minus 8 is greater than 0. Since the solution of this is this, replace x with ln x in the solution as well. So ln x greater than 4, or ln x smaller than negative 2. Therefore, x is greater than e to the 4, or x is smaller than e to the negative 2 and greater than 0. Take note of the 0 here. You need it because x has to be greater than 0 for ln x to be defined. You can refer to my first video for more explanation of the difference restrictions on the solutions to inequalities. Now let's look at example b. The only difference between this and this is that there is a mod x here. So we are replacing x with mod x, which gives mod x squared minus 2 mod x minus 8 greater than 0. And mod x squared equals to x squared, which is the expression that we need here. So the solution is given by mod x greater than 4 or mod x smaller than negative 2. If mod x is greater than 4, then x is greater than 4 or smaller than negative 4. And for mod x smaller than negative 2, there is no solution for this part because mod x has to be greater than or equal to 0 for all real values of x. Just take note that I use red for working that is technically not necessary, but which you can write if you find it too confusing to go straight to the next step. Now let's move on to example C. There is an e to the power of x here and we are replacing x with e to the power of x x squared becomes e to the power of x squared, and x becomes e to the power of x. Using the laws of indices, e to the x squared is just e to the power of 2x, and this is the required expression. You can therefore replace x with e to the x in the solution. e to the power of x is greater than 4 implies that x is greater than ln 4, and there is no solution for e to the power of x smaller than negative 2, because e to the power of x is positive for all real values of x. Now we can move on to example d. This is x, this is x squared. This is x squared, this is x to the power of 4. To get from here to here, you need to replace x with x squared. So x squared becomes x squared squared, and x becomes x squared. And this becomes the required expression. Replace x with x squared in the solution. x squared is greater than 4 or x squared is smaller than negative 2. And if x squared is greater than 4, it means that x is greater than 2 or smaller than negative 2. And there is no real solution for this part because square numbers have to be greater than or equal to 0. Now, how about this? The coefficients seem to be the same. 1, 2, 8, 1, 2, 8 but the powers seem to be in reverse. Here you're going in descending powers from x squared to x to a constant, whereas here you're going in ascending powers from a constant to x to x squared. In such a case, you're most likely replacing x with 1 over x. So 1 over x squared minus 2 over x minus 8 is greater than 0. Multiply the whole expression by x squared, 1 over x squared times x squared becomes 1, 2 over x times x squared becomes 2x, and 8 times x squared becomes 8x squared. This is the required expression. So you're replacing x with 1 over x in this solution. 
1 over x greater than 4 gives 0 smaller than x smaller than 1 quarter and 1 over x smaller than negative 2 gives negative half smaller than x smaller than 0. Take note of the 0 here because if 1 over x is greater than 4, it means that 1 over x is also positive and x has to be positive. And over here as well, because if 1 over x is smaller than negative 2, it means that 1 over x is negative and therefore x has to be negative. Last example, how do you deal with this? It looks almost the same, just that instead of minus 2x, we have plus 2x here instead. This is actually a case of replacing x with negative x. x squared becomes negative x squared, x becomes negative x, which simplifies to x squared plus 2x minus 8 greater than 0. Sub negative x into this solution, we have negative x greater than 4 or negative x smaller than negative 2. Negative x greater than 4 implies that x is smaller than negative 4 and negative x smaller than negative 2 implies that x is greater than 2. That's all for today. We have now come to the end of the inequalities crash course. Do check out other videos if you haven't done so. All the best for your school exams or A-levels or just life in general. Feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments.